Yeah, I would say like get curious, like really curious. And just like, I mean, for me, it's like whenever I see something new about cybersecurity, I'm always like, how, well, how does that work? Why does that work? And for me, I feel like that's that curiosity mindset has been super helpful in, you know, finding vulnerabilities or, or like just un kind of understanding how a system works. Like I spend, sometimes I'll be up to like 2am just reading Wikipedia and just kind of complete like full dive, like into some topic. And, and then I would say like, don't get discouraged as well. I mean, it is a very big field. So even if you, you know, you really hate Active Directory, like I hate Active Directory. I don't know anything about Active Directory personally. And you know, that's okay. I'm just not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on things that I find fun and interesting and challenging. And that's one of the great things I love about cybersecurity is it's such a broad and encompassing field. There's so many niches within it. Yeah. That's the cool thing that you're mentioning about finding things you like and dive into that, because it seems like sometimes people that tried to learn everything, you know, such a broad span of, of topics is really good to get really good at one of them when you're focusing on trying to, to learn so much. Yeah, exactly. Like so many things like folks on like web exploitation, you can focus on like binary exploitation, open source intelligence is a huge field as well. So many niches. Yep. Once you get those foundations down, just go yeah. with, go with what you like. And so since you guys went to a university, what are your thoughts on, were there things that you learned there that you may have not learned on your own that's helped you? I'll let Justin go first on that one. I have some things. I feel like, it's like two software security, sometimes you don't need to know how things work. Um, I'll give a great example. So Grant and I, we were competing in this CTF that the NSA hosts. So the NSA hosts this CTF called like NCX, the NSA Cyber Exercise. And so it's like a three day CTF and on the last, day, I believe, or the first day, there's an attack and defend CTF. And so like Grant and I were like leading this and we spent a few weeks before, well, we spent like a whole year planning. How are we going to defend our boxes? Like what's our game strategy? And so what we ended up doing was like, I wrote a script to connect all of our boxes and get like a PCAP dump, like every 10 minutes or five minutes, and then send, send that to my laptop. And then that would go to another server where we could monitor like flags leaving and like leaving or entering our network essentially. And because the flags are format, it's all regex. And so one of the boxes on there was an LDAP box. And we, for the life of us, could not figure out what this exploit was, but our box got pwned and we didn't understand why. We had a PCAP of it leaving, the, leaving it and we were like, how does this work? So what we ended up doing was we just like took the PCAP and just replayed it against every other team's server and we got the flag. 